Well, there is a lot of talk about making sure students are learning 21st century skills and are prepared for the future. As several hundred elementary students are on a waiting list to get into the Robbinsdale School District's brand new School of Engineering and Arts. It's an innovative approach to 21st century learning. Tell me about your engineering design that you did here. Tell me about it, guys. It's engineering design do? for kindergartners in Julie okay, Pitkin's class. We um, put a pumpkin in, in here. Okay. So it great. And why did that design work? Five-year-olds learning problem solving, estimation, calculations, and critical thinking all while expanding their vocabulary. One day we had an aha moment. We were working on um, um, stability and structures, and all of a sudden in the block area, the kids stopped what they were doing and said, Mrs. Pickin, our structure isn't very stable. I would not have had that conversation last year. That's because this new magnet school of engineering and arts takes a different approach to learning. No regurgitation of facts here. Pretty easy, right? The emphasis here is on science, technology, engineering, digital arts and mathematics, also known as STEAM, and the students are learning it all at once. I'm still modeling handwriting and yes we're still learning what A looks like and how to say A properly but we're doing it in an engineering and scientific method. Um, we're using an integrative approach so that language standards are being met at the same time as math standards is being met at the same time as science standards. Program coordinator Kara Rickenberg says the school currently has a waiting list of 330 as parents seek out schools where science, math and technology is embedded in the curriculum. How many pumpkin seeds do you think are on here? And mirrors the world in which these kids live. It's what our kids are doing. This is their world. This is their life. When we brought our kindergartners into the computer lab here for the very first time, they sat down and started swiping the monitor. They had no idea how to use the keypad. <laughs> it's true. The school opened this fall with 430 students, but 1,800 applied to get into the school's lottery system.